Hi there Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of February. Your creative zone continues to be really stimulated by the Sun's conjunction with Neptune. This runs on from last week. If you want to engage in things which expand your imagination, this is a wonderful aspect. However, when it comes to your love life, it's not quite so good in the sense that your expectations can be ramped up. And if you do meet somebody new, there could be a bit of a tendency to put them on some kind of pedestal. Even around an existing relationship, there may be a sort of sense of shifting sands and find it a little bit difficult to understand where each of you are coming from. Neptune naturally ebbs away at the substance of the sun and the sun in Pisces is already watery. So don't be surprised if you feel a little bit more emotional about the people that you really care about. So if you want to be affectionate and get together with your children, a partner, grandchildren, certainly this can be a fine time to just be very comfortable. But if you're doing something constructive with that creativity, like making and creating, well, you can really turn this week into something much more. Because Venus, the planet of love and affection, is forging two terrific angles, one with Saturn and one with Uranus. And if you can be imaginative and use your home zone in some kind of creative way to express yourself or make some extra money, that would be a very smart thing to do. Some Scorpios may even be involved in a, a redecoration project and the kind of colours that you use can be ones that really are very uplifting and that's going to come from the help of the Sun combining with Neptune. Now later in this week, well there is a new development on Saturday when Mercury makes its way out of the rather inward looking fourth house and arrives in Pisces too. Mercury is not great in this sign because it's in opposition to Virgo, which Mercury rules. So it is in detriment, but from your viewpoint, I do feel that you're going to feel that much more outgoing. And also Mars joins up with Sagittarius, uh, with, the, uh, with Saturn sorry, in Sagittarius on Sunday. This is particularly significant. If you have found that in general your financial prospects have been dampened down over the last couple of years or something that you used to rely upon isn't giving you much pleasure anymore, Mars is going to give you a lot of feist over the next five months to try to create new income streams but ones that can be more suitable for the person you're becoming. And I think it needs to be something that really inspires you. Just earning money for the sake of it may be the very thing that you're really not getting much enjoyment or engagement from. So Mars moving into this area, and remember Mars is your ruler, can be an absolutely brilliant thing. It can also bring out the more lusty side of your nature during that period of time. So if you are looking to have a lot more uh, interaction in your love life, then Mars is certainly going to be a big asset right through to the end of September. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.